It's a Wednesday, everybody. We're halfway through the week. Some uh, lovingly call this day hump day. I call it the best darn show ever. Thanks for watching Mass Appeal. I'm Seth Subban. Ashley is out. She will be back next week. But today, uh, this is fantastic. We have not one, not two, but three delicious slow cooker recipes. And that includes dessert. You heard it here. I didn't stutter. We are making dessert in a slow cooker with friend and entertaining expert Liz Corbett. Hello. Hi. Dessert? Yes, dessert. There's so many things you can do at a slow cooker. We're doing uh, the it's dessert crazy. at the end of the show, but yes. can you tease people at home a little? What is it going to be? Oh my gosh. It's going to involve chocolate. Okay. It's going to involve melted chocolate. Yes. And it might even involve a dollop of something sweet on top. I like it's this. It's amazing. Lady. It's like lava. But it's first, good. we're going to make the entree. Yes, we are. We are going to make a, a slow cooker chili. This is something that people know and love. Yes. But we have new and exciting takes on it. But first, there's slow cookers, there's crock pots, there's actually a difference between There really them. is a difference. Um, they basically accomplish the same thing. It's like an extension of your kitchen. You know, you've got your meal in there and it's waiting for you when you get home. Mm -hmm. A slow cooker has a heating unit only on the bottom and we're going to pull one out for the next segment. So I'll keep you oh, so it's kind in of the dark like, there. Uh, it's as if you're putting something in the oven. It's convection versus regular. Heating is only on the bottom, so it's like uh, it's sitting on a hot oh. plate. A crock pot, mm -hmm. or there's so many different brand names, but we all know that one the most, um, has the heating element all the way throughout the appliance. Uh, that's so like this the convection. crock is sitting inside of the heat, which is going all the way around and on the bottom. And this is always better option for uh, your pieces of meat to tenderize them. You throw in your short ribs or your chicken or whatever uh, because it's low and slow. That's how, that's your motto. Remember, low and slow is always the way to go. So between low and slow and set it and forget it, we've got a couple of uh, yeah. good phrases today. But we're doing yeah. uh, quinoa chili with we are. chicken. What goes into it? Okay, this is really cool as well because not like baking where it's chemistry, when you're cooking in a crock pot or a slow cooker, you kind of have a recipe, but you kind of can change it and throw other stuff in there. Mm -hmm. The basic thing is as long as you have something in there that's liquid, it's a sauna for your meal. <laughs> so if you put the liquid in there, you can kind of replace, you know, switch out things that yeah, you like. Think about you're it. right. This is like a, a steam bath for it veggies. It is because when you put it in there, and that's the yeah. rule at my house and everybody knows, <laughs> when that cover is on there, you do not open it. Oh, you no, do not open true, it because that messes true. with the timing of it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just all I'm picturing right now is a piece of broccoli sitting with a towel on, oh, getting gosh. steamy. Yeah, watch out. Let's make it. What goes okay. into it? So I'm just going to do like a visual of what goes into this because uh -huh. we have the finished product here. You can do quinoa, which mm -hmm. of course is a seed, and yep. it's very, very tiny. You could do barley. You could do brown rice. Any kind of a little starch that you want to throw in there. Mm -hmm. Um, but we could go, I did actually barley in this one, and I've got rice to show you. So you've got your starch, about one cup of it. Okay. All right, then you're going to throw in a whole lot of tomatoes. And here's the fun thing, you can switch them out if you want. I didn't have a whole lot of diced tomatoes, so mm -hmm. I had whole plum tomatoes, and then I just like mashed them up. Cool. So as long as you have the same um, number of ounces of tomatoes going in, you can kind of sub any ones that you want. So see, I've got whole plump tomatoes in there. I've got the diced ones. And that's going to give you your liquid too. That's going to give you your liquid as well. So we've got a 28 uh, ounce can of the diced tomato and then a 14 ounce can of the diced tomato with chilies. Mm -hmm. And you can control the heat that goes into this as well. You can leave those out if you want to. Mm -hmm. You can throw in jalapenos if you want. I mean, you can basically do whatever you want, which is cool. I love it. It's everything but the kitchen sink here. You've got the black beans, which are phenomenal for protein yes. and fiber. And so and is the quinoa for that Oh my matter. gosh, there's so much good stuff it's going in here. It's an action-packed meal. You've got, got one can, or you could do frozen corn. Um, and, and just, you've got some spices. You've got crushed red pepper. You've got garlic. You have uh, chili powder, which of course gives it the chili taste, mm -hmm. and then you have something fun called cumin. And you were telling, because everybody uses cumin, everybody loves cumin, but we don't know where it's from. Where's it's, the cumin it's from? It's fun to use the spices, but it's also kind of cool to know, well, what is it? I love it. Well, cumin is made from a seed in the parsley plant family. Because um, it tastes nothing like parsley. No, not at all. Uh, but just to give you an idea, and it's often found in Mediterranean dishes, Indian dishes, and a lot of times it's very cool to pair it with chili powder, which is what we're doing today. So it's got cumin in there, uh, chili powder, garlic. You can do fresh. You could do you know however you want. That's the fun thing. You switch it out. Yeah, and now it all goes in here. It you all put goes it on in the there. High or the low setting? You want to go long? again? Do you remember what I said? Low and slow. Yeah. So if you've got chicken in there, you want to go low and slow, low seven and slow. to eight hours. Seven to eight hours. So you set this. You go to work. You come home. You got dinner. Yes. Easy and enough. some of them are actually fancy and you can program them. So if you're not going to get home in time, it'll start it at a certain time. Um, if you're putting the chicken in, again, you want to do the low and slow method. And when you get to that point where you open the lid mm -hmm. and it's just like breathing in all of this dinner goodness, uh -huh. you're going to shred the chicken 
Just Easily. with two Pull forks. Just boom, boom, boom. You're all done. Kind of stir it back in. Um, and you're good to go. You could leave the chicken out if you want to go vegetarian. And then I would recommend doing a vegetable stock instead of the chicken stock. Perfect. And we this have this great. whole recipe on the website, so yeah. people are like, well, what's going yeah, in there? Yeah, you can put the pencil down yeah. and you pick up your computer. It's all there. Go to mymassappeal.com. But all also, there. we have the dessert coming up later in the show, and what's oh my gosh. our appetizer going to be? Uh, it's actually a side dish, Ooh. and it's a surprisingly different way to fix something that we already cook, but it's going to go in a slow cooker instead. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Let's go. But now we're going to change gear. Welcome back to Massville. We're back with food and entertaining expert Liz Corbett. Earlier in the show, we made some chili. We sure now, did. we're going to show people how you can make potatoes in the slow. Okay, people are probably going, duh, I know how to make mashed potatoes already. Mashed potatoes in the pan, yes. In the yeah. slow cooker, never heard okay, of it. Okay, what are some of the, the not-so-fun parts about making it on the stove? You got the whole steam mm -hmm. thing going on. Cleaning the pot, I don't Cleaning like. Cleaning the pot out. You have to time it just right. Mm -hmm. If you got people waiting, you have to do it at exactly the right moment. Yeah. Then the potatoes are already done and they're in the pot and you got to keep them warm without them getting all weird and crusty. That, and you can't turn the heat on because then it'll stick exactly. to the bottom of the pan. Okay, here's the coolest thing ever. All I did right. this for Thanksgiving. Yeah. You can do five pounds of potatoes Seriously? in your crock pot. And we're using the one, the crock pot, not the slow cooker this time because it's got the heat all the way around. We learned earlier, yeah, exactly. It has heat not just heat on the bottom. Heat all the way around is the, the crock top. pot. And five pounds of potatoes and one cup of broth. That's it. You peel the potatoes, and I'm going to have you show me your master peeling skills I here while we're much. chatting. All right. Um, you're going to peel the potatoes. We like what we call dirty potatoes. We leave the skins on. We scrub them good because it's just extra goodness for well, you. Why do I have to peel them? Well, just because I want to make you do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you can leave the skins on if you want to. Just scrub them really, really good. So the uh, measurements are five pounds of potatoes into a crock pot. These are probably going to just make it into there. Mm -hmm. One cup of liquid. Do some kind of a broth, a vegetable broth, a chicken broth, whatever you want. Um, and that's all you need as far as the, um, the ratio. That's it. You throw it in the crock pot. You put the cover on and you put it on low. Remember the whole low and slow. Low and slow. Okay. For eight hours. Do not touch it. Okay. okay. Do not touch it. When you open it, it's absolutely amazing because these potatoes, you could mash the entire thing with just a little old baby fork. They're so tender. Really? It's amazing. And then at that point is when you would add you know, your extras that are going to make it creamy, whether it's Greek yogurt or sour cream, a little bit of milk, whatever yeah, you like to end. throw in there. Yeah, and then you do your masher mm -hmm. right in the same pan. Hello. If people are having a Super Bowl party, this oh is Oh my gosh. It. And then you want to do like a mashed potato bar with all the fun fixings. Mashed potato it, bar with all yeah, the fun oh fixings. Are you kidding? That's do it so cool. In the crock pot because it's one thing, it's already done. You mash it in there. You could even do your immersion blender if you like it really, really creamy. Mm -hmm. Put the cover on, put it on, make sure it's on low at this point. Okay. Very important. And then you just leave it. It's all hot and it's ready for people to have like in a buffet line. I have a slow cooker question for yes. you. Yes. I've made chili before. I've made a bunch of things. And it comes down a little bit because yep. everything, the, the moisture is coming out of it. Yeah. So then I have this ring on oh, there that I can't yeah. get out and it's yeah. infuriating. Not good. How do you clean a, a slow okay, cooker? Okay, here's the thing. You could purchase the little bags that go inside, but here's a greener option for mm -hmm. you. It's going to save you money and you're not adding to more, you know, plastic waste. Yes. Um, very cool items for cleaning are white vinegar. And baking soda. After you've gotten everything out of your crock pot, give it a quick little rinse. You're going to fill it up with warm water all the way up to the top where you've got that like ring around the bathtub right, right around the top. Yes, Make sure oh, it's I above that. that. Well. And you're going to add a splash of white vinegar, half cup or so. I don't measure anything. No. And then, oh gosh, let's see, like two or three tablespoons of baking soda. When you have vinegar and baking soda together, they react and they get all bubbly and fun. Put the cover on, put it on low for like a half hour, hour. Take it out, rinse. It's going to come right off. Cool. I promise. Now Very Liz, cool. We're out of time for now, but we have a web exclusive. You're going to put this recipe for pumpkin butter on our website. Oh my gosh, this is yeah. so cool. Yeah, okay. it's just pumpkin, apple juice, spices in a crock pot, eight hours. Um, and bonus points if you have a crock pot as little and as adorable cute as, that. as this one, right? Eight hours on low pumpkin butter instead of jam. Really good for you. Yummy. Great idea. Keep the pumpkin going. Liz, thanks, but yeah. we're not done with Liz yet. We have a dessert coming yes, up, so we people do. have to stay tuned for that. We're back with food entertaining expert Liz Corbett. We're making dessert in the slow cooker. It's what I've been waiting for all show long. <laughs> Scale of one to ten, how easy is this? Oh God! If you can dump things in a container, check and flip a switch. Okay, you're good. Done. What goes into it? <laughs> okay, this is awesome. Um, and I'm gonna hand you things and, and have I you put them into here. See if I can do the, the yes. dumping. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna do one cup of flour. Okay. One cup of brown sugar. Oh, he's really dumping. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to do, this is, this gives it the chocolatey taste. We're going to do three tablespoons cocoa powder. of cocoa. Now, this really flies around, so don't get too carried okay. away. So there's one, two, three, and you'll notice there's more. We're going to add that in a minute. Okay. And then there are uh, two tablespoons of baking powder, which I already put in. 
a little bit of salt. All right, so that's all incorporated good. Is that good enough for you? Uh, yeah, you can even do like the back of the spoon and get the lumps of the oh, brown sugar. Oh, good idea. Now the other thing that's going to go in for our liquid is a half a cup of milk, okay. two tablespoons of butter. This is all, if you're going to do stuff, do the real thing, real butter, real milk. Yeah, milk, why not? You know, it's all about Life's moderation, but make it the good stuff. Life's too short. So a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, you ready? Yes. Now this is going in here. Don't worry about the butter not necessarily getting mixed in. It'll all melt. So that's the thing. Two. When you're cooking something for four hours in, in a slow yeah, cooker. Yeah, trust me, it's going to melt. Yeah. All right, so that's going to go in there, and that's going to make kind of our batter. Okay. Um, now, can we do a little switcheroo? You ready? I have nothing but okay, time. Okay, yeah, da da um, This is a good example of a slow cooker as opposed to a crock pot because this sits on something similar to a hot plate. Mm -hmm. You can also make grilled cheese on here. Wicked cool. Yeah. It's a two in one. Oh my gosh, I've had this thing forever. <laughs> so, this is a slow cooker. The heat is only on the bottom. Okay. And we are going to make our cake in that. So, should I put that it in? That looks awesome. Okay. So, you're going to want to put that into here. All right, we're switching back. All right, here we go. Now, helpful tip that I didn't mention before, mm -hmm. in line with the whole cleaning thing, always, always, always spray or grease or oil or butter the inside of your crock pot and slow cooker, or you're not going to be a happy camper because okay. it's basically, you know, baking on there for like eight hours. Yeah, that's so. True. Make sure that you do that first. So that's our batter, and you're going to, with a spoon, just spread it gently down into the bottom. I don't know if we can catch how that looks, but you're spreading it out as if you're making like brownies. Okay. Okay. But now, eventually, even if you don't do a great job, it's going to You know what? Melt yeah, out. it's not about the looks, it's about the goodness. Now, earlier we were talking about how if this is a slow cooker. Some other models, they have a convection and it's around the whole thing. Can yep. you make it in one of those? Does it work? You can. You okay, can do perfect. either one. In fact, you may want to do uh, the crock pot for this one. Uh, it, it just depends. So remember, the heat is only on the bottom of this one, so maybe don't do it as long. Or because as the thick, heat isn't maybe. going. Yeah, the heat isn't going all the way around. Great point. Um, so then we're going to sprinkle a massive amount of chocolate chips on top of that there. I can do. Checking your sprinkling skills. Excellent. All right. And then the liquid that's going on top of that, mm -hmm. if you want to grab the boiling water in the microwave real quick. I would love to. Uh, okay. We're going to make kind of this hot fudge sauce that goes on top. Okay. How does one make the All hot right, fudge This sauce? is going to be boiling hot water, one and three quarter cups. There the it is. other part of the brown sugar, which is three fourths of a cup. Okay, okay, now this has a lot of sugar in it, I will be honest. But you know what? Why not? Okay. And then we have three more tablespoons of baking powder, baking cocoa, excuse me. That's what gives it the good chocolatey and get the good stuff. Yeah. All right. So, so now we just it in? have this like sloppy chocolate mess. Mm -hmm. This is going to pour on top of the batter and don't stir it. Very important tip. Okay, yeah, you don't That's tell me what twice. makes it into lava cake. Because as it sits in that sauna, mm -hmm. all of that liquid is going to melt the chocolate chips and you're going to end up with like a hot fudge sauce on top of the cake. And then Love it gets it. covered and then it's going to go um, on high for four hours. This okay. is not a low and not slow. Not a low and slow. This is a high for four hours. All right, now Liz, we're running low on time. However, okay. a couple quick tips you want to give us. If yes. we're on the run and we don't have a fancy pants crock pot. If you don't have a fancy pants crock pot, like my other one locked, mm -hmm. string, do it through the little handles, come up around, twirl around the cover, and then it's secure. Cover it with a beach towel, something heavy, put it in a heavy box with handles. I Great have to tip. tell you a really out of the box crazy thing. I love this one because a lot of people have candles okay. that look like this. How and annoying is that when you get to the bottom and you're like, oh, it's out, but you still have all that really nice wax mm -hmm. in the bottom? You put it in your crock pot. Put a little bit of water in first. Yeah. Set it right into your crock pot. You can even do like a whole bunch of them. What put it on low, do? and you're still going to get the same effect because it's going to be melting the wax. Liz, always How a awesome pleasure is to that? have you here. Thank you so much. If you want the recipes, go to mymassappeal.com. Also, thanks for